So this is our trusty steed for our journey. And yes, I'm wearing an abaya, although um, Prince Mohammed bin Salman has said that Western women shouldn't be wearing abayas now. Um, this seems to be a fairly traditional town um, and it's just more respectful to, to wear an abaya. So yeah, we're about to go. All right, so we're on the road. We've got um, 511 kilometers to go before we go to Madan Asila first, and then we're going to go across to our accommodation and Al Ula. But we thought we'd just introduce ourselves. I'm Linda. I'm Brendan. We've been married for 29 years. Um, we have two beautiful children. Um, they're both studying abroad, so with this coronavirus, we don't know when we're going to see them again. One, our son is in South Africa studying mechatronics, and our daughter is in Australia studying occupational therapy. So they're both happy, which we are truly blessed about. So we don't have any worries there. And we've had an amazingly adventurous life. Uh, we're very blessed, as Linda's saying. Um, we grew up born and bred in South Africa, uh, and then decided to go adventuring um, in Europe. I'm, I'm in education. Um, I was a teacher at the time in South Africa. Um, and we left 27 years ago uh, to go to Sweden. Uh, For three years, and we were gonna go back to South Africa, but never made it back. Never really made it. We're still on the road, mm -hmm. and uh, literally, so, yeah. And uh, so we were enjoying our time in Sweden very much. Um, wonderful country that is. Then uh, moved across to the UK uh, for 16 years and had an incredible time. Um, I, I was involved in two grade schools in, in, in the UK uh, and uh, really, really enjoyed our time there. And then moved on um, to the UAE. Opportunity to def as founding headmaster of two uh, wonderful schools, leading schools in the UAE, um, and we, we lived and worked for about seven years in um, Abu Dhabi, and then moved across to Dubai for just over a year, uh, and then found our way over here to Saudi Arabia, and now we're setting up and, um, and building and developing a, a really state-of-the-art school here in Saudi Arabia. But we're in the middle of the desert, and we love being by the sea. So this trip, because we can't get out of Saudi Arabia at the moment with coronavirus, um, you're allowed to, to leave, but expatriates aren't really allowed to come back in, is the ruling at the moment. Um, and we can't, we can't jeopardize not being able to get back in. So we are heading across, we're doing this little road trip. We want to see some of the historic sites of Saudi Arabia. It's a really fascinating country and the people are so hospitable. Unbelievable. So generous. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so we're heading across to see some of the, the historical sites, especially in Alula. Um, and we want to go to the Red Sea, at least to see the sea. We're hoping we'll be able to swim in it. I have bought a burkini. Um, and then we're going to go up to Mount Jebel al Laws, which is um, apparently Mount Sinai. So a lot, there's a lot of evidence to suggest that that is actually um, where, where Moses was with the Israelites, so we're quite keen to, to go and experience all of that. Uh, but the most beautiful of all are the people. Uh, we've never felt as welcome as you can gather. We've lived in six countries, and we also have a family France, and um, so we know we know international travel well. Uh, we've never felt as welcome as we do here in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's an incredible place to be. Um, we've been here for a year now, uh, and it's an exciting adventure, and uh, we're looking forward to sharing more of our journey with you as we go. Um, and in this region, as I said earlier, we Westerners don't have to wear a bias now. Um, but this, uh, we haven't, I haven't, in Hale, we didn't see another Western woman. Uh, so I was wearing my abaya going around. I did take it off for dinner last night in a restaurant. Um, in Riyadh, Linda never wears it. Uh, well, I do occasionally if I've got nothing, yeah. something. The beauty of it is you can wear whatever you want underneath and go anywhere. So this morning we ran out of water in the hotel so I went down to the car in my pajamas with just my abaya on and nobody was away so that was amazing. Decided it was coffee time. <laughs> First world problems. One of life's treats in Saudi Arabia is coffee. The Saudis love it, we love it too. And uh, it's when you're in a beautiful location like this in the mountains and uh, you can actually get to make an espresso of all things off the back of the car. What a pleasure. Yes, I'm doing the 
Dritte, nachdem Gets the coffee machine running beautifully. And yet we're out in the wilds and wilderness in this beautiful place, just a few k's off the road, and here we are.
driven all the way from Hale to Alula today. It took us um, about five hours. We stopped a few times along the way and um, yeah, we had a lovely day. We managed to see Elephant Rock or Mountain, but unfortunately Magna Sala, which is um, a UNESCO heritage site, is closed until October. We thought we might be able to sneak in, but no such chance. 
The landscape is incredible and uh, we've seen such varied landscape. I think that's the thing that is most striking about Saudi Arabia, this beautiful landscape you can see behind us is just one example. Um, we've come through wasteland, complete open space and uh, desertscape um, as you would expect. Um, sand into rock, uh, everything, and then incredibly green, lush wadis and uh, vegetation, palm trees, incredible place, really, it is such a varied day. One day, um, I, I would say we've seen five, six different landscapes.